Good afternoon, I'm Pip Thompson doing my clinical at uh, Crown Hill Elementary School. I'm in the third grade class. My mentor here is Tanya Martin and I'm very excited to start it. Me too. So we're we going over expectations and routines first? Yes, I think okay. that would be a good idea. Okay. So our routines are laid out in our lesson plans. So we have reading um, small groups first, and within our small groups, and that's what I want you to start teaching when you start, is um, leveled readers. So we have three different leveled readers. So basically for kids that struggle on, and then on grade level and above grade level. And we do rotations um, between those three groups. I also have about eight students that are pulled out with another teacher for small groups. Is there a certain criteria you're looking for from me for each group? Are you going to outline certain things or? Um, luckily our books outline everything. So everything that all the standards and all the expectations and everything are outlined in all of our curriculum that we use in Bremerton School District. So when you open the books for each week, um, it's telling you what to do for leveled readers, um, for writing, and also for speaking and listening and content knowledge. So everything's laid out each week and we can go over that weekly. Okay. Okay. And so that's what we start with and that's what you'll start teaching as a small group. Okay, so um, I guess one of my questions and I'm a bit nervous about is what are the expectations of me? Um, can I give you my expectations of what I need? Yes. So, um, so I wanna come out of this being prepared to go into a classroom. I want to be able to know how to manage it and how my the content and being being able to deliver the content enough. And it appears that from looking at the books, I know I've had a look before we did this, so I can see sort of the content is pretty much set out. But my expectations of what I'm supposed to do in the classroom, I guess. I think the expectations to start with would be the small group and then eventually take over the whole classroom where you will be doing all, all subject areas. Um, as for routines and procedures and stuff, um, I feel like that, especially at the beginning of the year, that every, I mean, you need to be on kids constantly about behavior and expectations and reteaching. And we spend the first two weeks in our school district where that's what we focus on is expectations and routines. And we practice and practice and practice. And as a teacher, I feel like I am practicing those up until about Christmas break that we review them almost daily on how to line up, on how I expect them to sit, on how they turn and work, on how they sign up for lunch. So you're teaching them routines almost so the entire year. So are you comfortable with me stepping in and asking you, as long as I'm complying with your, what your routine and procedure is, you're happy with me to step in and? Yes, once you get to that point, okay. then you could be me. You get to do all of it. And then you're gonna figure out what you're comfortable with and what you, your expectations might be a little bit different than mine. Okay. Okay, so okay. we'll get to that point where you get to take over that in a few weeks. Okay, so our reading's the first thing I'm gonna be doing and that's small group reading. Yeah, small group reading. Um, math. Math, um, we use Eureka Math and we do whole group math. Um, I have two students that are that have IEPs that are out of the classroom, but the rest are in the classroom. And we have seven modules, and each module is laid out where the objectives, um, so the state standards are listed at each module. We do the problem set whole group exit tickets to see if the kids um, understand what we taught that day, and if they don't, we can pull them into small groups or to give them help or go over that whole group and then they have homework each night in that. So um, my class or the cohort is really into differentiation and collaboration. So is that something that is part of this? Yes, um, with our reading, at least it's leveled where each group is leveled. Um, with math, we do a lot of partner share activities and coming up with strategies. And if somebody um, has another strategy they use, they share it and the kids are really good where they help each other. Um, which is nice, or um, when they're partner sharing, whatever strategy they're using, um, they can share that with their partners and then they come up with some strategies that blow my mind that um, I've never thought about using. Okay, so, so differentiation, because I'm 
nervous about how you would do that in a big class and how you take away from the rest of the class to make it work. Well, you could do that while they're working on their homework or exit tickets. That's I also something you're have, show me that, yes. right? Okay, good. And I also have I'm a couple of good volunteers that help do that as well. And we have support. Um, we're starting next week where I have another um, certified teacher that's going to be pulling my some of my kids to support them in math because the data is showing that they are um, more than two years behind. So we'll have that support starting next week too. Great. So I guess my um, thoughts on this is I'm coming in, I'm going to do observations to start with, and then you're going to slowly feed me in a little bit. Yep. So you'll be doing small groups to start with, okay. and you'll do some whole group instruction, then soon you'll be taking so over the whole thing. So the lesson plans that I've got to be doing for my um, class, is that something you're going to help me go through so I can then actually teach the class and keep on the curriculum that you've got yes would that work yes and with, like, like I said with our curriculum everything's laid out when I was in school you had to look up everything everything is actually listed as standards okay. now so I can just keep in track with what you're doing but mm -hmm. then meet the criteria I need for my class that would work that would be so good thank you very much I think that's everything for this and I hope that is good enough for teach now thank I you do too.